hello guys uh, welcome to the new session in selenium so in this session we will see how we can use the selenium manager uh, which is available in the latest selenium dependency to get the uh, driver binary executable okay so we already know if you want to run the automation on some browsers we require the uh, driver executable files for that browsers okay for for chrome for i browser for edge firefox we required dot uh, exe file if you want to run the automation on that right so we know uh, these two ways already uh, one is system dot set property where we need to uh, download the driver executable locally okay you will have to download uh, these files manually uh, keep on the local machine and provide that path over here okay so system dot set property and then your browser will be launched right and uh, the problem in this uh, we already know that uh, if browser gets updated to the some latest version right some newer version your driver uh, executable file will not be updated so you need to manually download the latest version okay which is compatible with the browser version and then your uh, automation will run okay so to solve that problem okay that uh, browser and driver version compatibility uh, we use web browser manager right so this is a smart solution to download the driver executable files depending upon the browser version it will download the uh, driver executables automatically okay on the local system and uh, you don't need to set the path manually okay so you don't need to worry about uh, if your browser gets updated in the future it will download the uh, compatible driver executable file automatically okay so selenium guys themselves they have found one solution okay so we don't require to use the system dot set property or web driver manager we can directly set up the driver by, by this statement okay so previously we used to use this uh, statement okay one is system dot set property or web driver manager and then we are uh, creating the reference for the web driver okay so you can directly create the web driver reference now uh, with the latest selenium dependency and uh, selenium itself will download the driver executable for this chrome or firefox or uh, microsoft edge and your automation can run easily okay so this is still in uh, beta version so with the uh, current selenium version let's say currently i have 3.141.59 if i try to run this code right so it will definitely give me some error because i am not telling where my executable file is available right so it is saying illegal state exception the path of the driver executable we need to set okay so what i will do i will go to the browser and let us see the what is the latest version for this selenium dependency so on the memonrepository.com you will find this 4.7.2 so this is the latest version so we can use this version okay to try the selenium manager so you just need to update the version of your selenium dependency in the pom.xml file okay so before i update it uh, i will show you in the maven repository we have this selenium 3.141.59 we don't have the selenium manager over here so to moment you save it it will build your project again and it will bring the selenium java 4.7.2 okay so what is difference uh, over here is the major difference is selenium manager that you can find uh, here okay so this is the jar file for selenium manager okay and under this package they have created this selenium manager dot class file okay so this class file is already available so here they have already state that uh, this implementation still in beta stage so let's try to uh, run this code with this latest dependency okay so we are not set any path or we are not using the web driver manager so let's see if it works or not so we can see that chrome browser launched successfully okay so this is how uh, selenium manager will help you to download the driver executable files automatically and you don't require to use the web driver manager dependency okay so don't get confused selenium manager will not use the web driver manager internally okay they have created their own selenium manager class some methods okay and using this implementation which is in beta stage you can directly download the driver executable file okay so it will go and check the browser version of your local system and depending upon the browser owner uh, it will download the compatible driver executable okay so here i am opening the chrome driver if i want to open the firefox i can do that okay so whatever driver uh, files it will downloads uh, that will keep in the uh, cache memory 
on the local system okay so that path also uh, if you want to see where these files are available or are getting downloaded that also you can do let's say selenium manager dot we need to first create the instance get instance dot uh, there is one method they have defined in that class that is get driver path okay so i want to get the driver path for this firefox driver so this will return the string value uh, on my local system where this firefox driver got downloaded okay so if you go to the get driver in this class uh, you just need to send this uh, whether you want to see the uh, gecko driver uh, chrome driver msh driver okay i driver like that so for firefox i will use this so we need to store that value in string variable let's say string driver path is equals to this one and uh, we will simply print that value Okay, so here you can see driver path is uh, this is the location okay where this gecko driver dot executable dot exe file is uh, downloaded by the selenium manager okay so let's go to the local system that i can show you so on the users by your username dot cache and selenium under that we have chrome driver gecko driver okay so depending upon your browser it has downloaded some versions okay these are some previous versions i have downloaded with the help of webdriver manager but uh, for chrome driver uh, it has downloaded 108.0.5359 okay similarly for gecko driver it has downloaded this 0 0.32.0 okay this is the latest one file okay so this is how you can use this selenium manager so this is available just you need to update your uh, selenium java uh, dependency version from the pom.xml uh, file okay so this is the latest one so if we use 3.141.59 i think this selenium manager is available from the 4.60 onwards okay so if you use these the previous versions you won't find this selenium manager over there okay so just use the version 4.6.0 or any other versions available okay so that's all for this session guys uh, let me know if you have a question uh, on this thank you